everybody, how's it going? Welcome to this edition of my channel. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up because I am giving you a thumbs up for watching it. Hit that bell button, share this video with a friend, and subscribe to my channel. Jesus loves you. Bye! Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to this edition of my channel. What I thought I would talk about is when we're going through our vocational discernment, taking time to take a break from vocational discernment so that we can just spend time with God. And so what do I mean by that? Well, I think so often when we're going through a period of more serious discernment into our vocation or more serious discernment of something else, we find ourselves really focused on that vocation. I know for myself, I struggle with that at times. Sometimes it feels like, all my prayers, oh God, are you calling me to this vocation? Oh God, please let this work out. Oh God, please confirm if you're calling me to this. And then I find myself in a place where I'm not stopping and stepping back just to take a moment to get to know God more, to develop my relationship with God. And so even though it's good, and it's a good thing to be talking to God about our vocation and to be praying about our vocations, I think within our more serious time of discernment, we also just need to allow ourselves to get to know God, allow ourselves to go deeper into the scriptures, allow ourselves to not just talk to God about vocation stuff, but to be able to talk to God about our life in general. Because the thing is, our vocation is what helps us to become a saint, but our vocation isn't all that we talk about with God, our vocation is how we're going to live out our life as a saint. But when we become a sister, when we become a priest, we get married, we become a consecrated person, or whatever our vocation might be, we're not going to be sitting there talking to God about, oh, am I called to be a priest or not? Am I called to be a sister or not? No, we're going to be talking to God about how we live out this vocation. And the thing is, we shouldn't be just thinking about our vocation at all times, but how we're going to live our day-to-day -day life with God, how we're going to be able to carry out our day-to-day our -day life with Him and just grow in daily spirituality, grow in our daily devotions, grow in our daily life choices because we are called to go deeper with the Lord. We are called to move forward with the Lord in daily life. And so I think we are called to just not be focused on our vocation, but to be focused on God as a person, just as he focuses on us as a whole person. So meaning he's focusing on our inner healing. He's focusing on our daily needs. He's focusing on uh, the things we need to grow in. He's focusing on the things that are going to make us more prepared to receive our vocation. But what is the point of discerning a church vocation if we do not have that relationship with God, if we do not have that um, place to make as a foundation because our relationship with God is our foundation for our vocation. So sometimes it's good to just take a step back from praying about our vocation for in our times of prayer and just be able to talk to God about the normal everyday things. Because when we're sisters, when we're brothers, when we're priests, when we're when we're getting married, we're going to be talking to God about the daily life stuff. And so we're called to do that right now. We're called to live in the now. We're called to be able to have those moments with God right now and to develop that relationship with God right now. That is important if we are discerning our vocation. We need to get to know the one that we are deciding to give our lives to. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you. I hope it helps you to grow deeper in your faith. Give this video a thumbs up because I'm also giving you a thumbs up. Jesus loves you. Bye.